Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Jessica Mazurkiewicz came out with a new book. Now this has been out for a little bit, um, but this one is called Fanciful Nature Designs. It is another creative haven book and it's a little bit more expensive than the other creative haven books, which as you know, are very budget friendly. But the reason is, Look how thick this baby is. <laughs> a lot of pictures in this. So, um, yeah, therefore, the cost is a little bit more, but isn't this pretty? So this is the front cover, and this is the back cover with all those beautiful succulents. It says, celebrate the joys of nature. Relax and unwind as you color these 93 stunning illustrations that include everything from playful patterns of flowers and flamingos to beautifully decorative planters filled with jade and cactus to uniquely creative floral arrangements. An inspiring and delightful array of designs for nature lovers everywhere. So, let's take a look inside. As usual, all of Creative Haven books always have a colored in image in the inside of the front cover and the inside of the back cover. Oh, isn't that a pretty color palette? Gorgeous. So you can use it for color, for, you know, inspiration or whatnot. Here we have our title page. Talks about Jessica Mazurkowitz. Says, oh no, it takes you on a pleasant coloring journey to the natural world. Birds, butterflies, elephants, and giraffes are set against cheerful backgrounds of fruits, leaves, and trees. Unique floral arrangements appear in flower pots, watering cans, a bird cage, and a pair of cowboy boots. Striking succulents are shown in baskets, hanging bowls, terraria, and even an elegant bridal bouquet, specially created to offer a welcome diversion from the concerns of daily life and provide an escape from stress and worry. This collection will encourage you to challenge your creativity. Use your choice of colors and media to transform each page into your very own expressive artwork. The pictures are perforated for easy removal so that you can display your artwork and visualize yourself out in nature anytime you wish. <laughs> so yes, as usual, all of Creative Haven's books are all perforated. They're on nice paper, much nicer than Amazon paper. Not super thick. I mean, it's not cardstock, but all the Creative Haven uh, books are, they do have relatively nice paper, especially when you consider the cost of these. Um, you know, they're, they're such budget-friendly books. We have these cute owls and hedgehogs. Some fruit. There's our cacti. So we'll kind of do a relatively quick flip through because there are almost a hundred pictures in here. Oh, hibiscus. Love those. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting this repetitive nature of these pictures, I guess. I was expecting more, you know, this type of picture. <laughs> hmm, don't know if I like that or not. I'm thinking not. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty, but yeah, I wish it was just one main picture, you know what I mean? I hope the whole book isn't like this. I'd be a little sad. Giraffes. I mean, like I said, they're cute pictures, but I guess I wasn't expecting this. I will link this book down below in the description as usual, in case you are interested in looking at it. The turtles. 
So this doesn't seem to be Jessica's style of book. You know what I mean? Just something. There we go. That's the kind of picture I was picturing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because when I seen the, you know, this one is one of the repetitive ones. But then I seen this and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> and there's one like it. Is that the same picture? No, it's different. Yeah, so it's almost like the first half of the book are those repetitive ones. Oh, there's the cowboy boots. A wagon of, looks to be daffodils. Yes, these are much prettier. <laughs> I don't think it was quite half the book, maybe the first third or so that had those repetitive pattern type pictures. Now, is this a culmination of a few of her books into this one? If anybody knows, let me know in the description below, or in the description, in the comments below. It almost seems like it, because it seems like the first part of the book would be one book and then you know the next section is this and I don't know if there will be no the rest of them all seem to be this type of picture is this the one from I can't remember what's on the front cover yeah I thought it had a ladder in it so yeah these this is more what I was picturing the book to be like but yeah if you know if this is like a a number of her books combined into one let me know that because these are beautiful very pretty bloom with grace oh isn't that wreath of tulips pretty fancy picnic look at it with the antlers very pretty. Oh, wow. Look at the detail in there. Ooh. Oh, that could be so pretty, though. Blossoms and bubbles. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh. Love grows here. That's supposed to be like a watermelon, I think. Oh, look at that beautiful cake. That's too pretty to eat. That's a fancy fish bowl. <laughs> Imagine going traveling and opening a suitcase and have that popping out. <laughs> Either that or they're going back home and they're trying to pack them back and take them back with them. Uh -huh. There's all them succulents. Looks like a bunch of water lilies. More succulents. It's amazing how many different kinds there are, isn't it? Oh, now this is neat. This is something where, kind of like Johanna Basford's latest book, where you have little images on um, a page and you could, you know, if you're testing out maybe a new set of pencils or you just want to color one thing that day, one, one little image, you could just take one little piece of this, you know, maybe tag it or something, and then come back, you know, two weeks from now and try a different kind of pencil and just see some blends or whatnot. That's what these pages are great for. Oh, cute. Here, too. You could color just one glass at a time. <laughs> Stuck on you. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Allo, Allo you very much. <laughs> I want a pot like that now. <laughs> this is the one from the back, inside the back cover. 
So again, if you need a little coloring inspiration. Say hello to my friends. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at these adorable little pots. I love the snail one. I have a number of Jessica's books, but I don't think I have all of them. Boy, a lot of succulents in here. Oh, let love grow. That's cute. Little terrariums. Here's, you know, another couple pages. You could just test some mediums out. <laughs> Succulents are plantastic. <laughs> oh, that looks neat. Kind of staggered flower boxes. You could just take some old uh, wooden drawers from an old dresser <laughs> and do that. <laughs> mm. Some more succulents. She must like drawing them. <laughs> She's good at drawing so many things. Her pictures are beautiful. The crazy plant lady. What are these other ones? Aloe Gorgeous. Frond of You. Can't touch this because it's cactus. Ready, Set, Grow. Looking Sharp. Another cactus book. Keep Calm and Garden. And then, yeah, the crazy cat lady. Or plant lady. That is cute. Yeah, she definitely likes her succulents. Stuck together. <laughs> oh, those are cool. Oh, I love those. I would like to get something like that. All right, and that was the last picture. We do have a blank sheet at the back of the book. And then again, that colored in image. So there you have it. I don't think it says anywhere in here that it's a, you know, a combination of a number of books, does it? Oh, it does. It's a new compilation of the following Dover books by Jessica Mazurkowitz. Um, Creative Haven, Blissful Nature Coloring Book, illustrations 1 through 31, Creative Haven Flower Fancy Coloring Book, illustrations 32 through 62, and Creative Haven Stunning Succulents Coloring Book, illustrations 63 through 93. So those of you who are yelling at the screen, telling me that, yes, these are from Jessica's other books. Okay, I got it. I got it. So it is from three of her other books. I think I do have the Flower Fancy. Maybe Blissful Nature. I don't have the Stunning Succulents. So no wonder there were so many succulents in the book. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, I'm glad I seen that. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of, I was going to say this new book by Jessica Mazurkowitz, but I guess we'll just say the culmination of three of her books into one. So if you don't have any of the other ones, you might want to pick this one up. Now, of course, each of those three books are not in its entirety in these. It's only sections. So if you do like the book, you know, or portions of that particular book, you then could go out and buy 
the whole book. So if you enjoyed the flip through, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.